The last few years at the E3 Ranch has been just absolutely incredible. Not only has the deer hunting been awesome the last couple of years, but it has been a good place to have some great guests come share camp with us. I was about ready to let you apply a cream to my body. But of all the guests we've had, there's been just one absolute standout. So guys, we got something really new and exciting. We have a brand new Buckman. A little baby Buckman. We gotta announce that. How did that turd slip in? I guess they're trying to push me out. The last few years at the E3 Ranch has been just absolutely incredible, particularly for Rochi and myself. Two years ago I got Junior, which has been my biggest buck yet, and my only buck over 200 inches. And this year I got the Muley Buck. While he's not the highest scoring deer, he's definitely one of my favorite bucks I've ever taken off the E3. He just had so much awesome character. Oh, Jasher. Holy smokes. Wow. What a stud of a buck. Without question, Rochi had his best season yet. He got the six by seven and the boot buck. Not only has the hunting been awesome, it's just been a good place to have some guests over the last few years. We've had Matt Light. Listen, we were in a nest. We were in a trusting tree. <laughs> there was a part of our relationship that was going a long way. I was about ready to let you apply a cream to my body. That's done. You're not going to have that on anymore, OK? I'm not giving you that. All right? We have Tyler Jordan. What's up? I'm good. I, I killed one. Uh, it's just a, he's a management deer. Uh, have Chipper Jones. <laughs> we even had a super special guest named Jason Aldean. Really great to get him out and about. Man. Come on. Cool deer. He, uh, this was definitely one on the hit list for sure, so. But of all the guests we've had, there's been just one absolute standout. I'd like to thank my sponsors, Luther's Cowboy Jerky. Uh huh. Oh, here's your wintergreen and Vienna sausage. What if I told you this? That's actually dog treats. It tastes like kind of like a dog treat, but is it really? Yep. <laughs> oh, God. You know, we just truly enjoy having this fool in camp. Uh, my name's Tyler Farr, and I like to eat Hot Pockets. So guys, we got something really new and exciting. We have a brand new Buckman. The big news on the new Buck Commander. It's not that Tyler Farr is now an owner, is it? Uh, yeah. Uh, we gotta announce that. <laughs> A little baby buck man we're introducing to the world. He just was birthed, and now he's a little tiny baby, gravelly voice buck man. Good to see you, me and Alba in here. You know, he's he definitely, you know, redneck, you know, like to hunt. Go to church and stuff, you know. I go what the good old boys do, you know. How did that turd slip in? I guess they're trying to push me out for my lack of on screen material. I hope he gets him a dare. He's got him some scent cakes he bought at Auto 
was the whole night thing. I love T Far. He's uh, he's good for for camp morale. At least I know I'm not the stupidest owner now. Why why did he uh, get invited to join? Well, there was a program we had where we were trying to. Um, you know, just take normal guys and introduce them to the outdoors and uh, try to train them into something. And, uh, you know, it's worked great. It's a state program. Uh, we work with the state of Tennessee. Yeah, and just said, Is, you think you can do anything with him? And I said, well, we can try. You know, I mean, that's, I mean, we've taken, I remember little Jason Aldean when he started, you know, we took them training wheels off. And uh, so, you know, we're just, we're trying our best to, not just to, to make a better hunter, or make somebody know more about the outdoors. I mean, we're just, we're really trying to make just men. It only made sense to offer Tyler a spot in the company. I mean, he was already hanging out with us anyways. He came to Kentucky with us, shot his first Buck Commander buck on camera. He's been one of the most excitable people we've ever met and probably the only person to ever rival Luke's excitement. Brace Jesus. <laughs> Are you kidding me, brother? Here you go. Jesus through the gold bush to heaven. Good Lord. So I thank Jesus. And he's fine! Oh, you son of a... Get him all. Get him all. Who is it? That's how you do it. So when um, they originally asked me to be in Buck Commander, be a part of the team, and I was kind of, I started laughing. I was like, buddy, why in the world would you want me to be a part of Buck Commander? You obviously have enough screw ups on the team as it is. Why would you want to add one more to the pile? I love hunting and fishing. That's what I do. When I'm, when I'm not singing, when I'm not on the road, when I'm not playing these shows, I'm right back here in my backyard putting a stand after these big Tennessee bucks and uh, on the river over there trying to catch fish. So it really doesn't change much for me anyway. Look at the rack on that one. We got donkeys, we got goats grabbing on my porch, we got Labradors, we got my redneck wife in there. Eat your heart out, Luke and Jason. Can't hide money, man. Man, this chicken salad sandwich is good. Man, so when I moved to Nashville, all I wanted was a tractor that ran and a farm. That's all I wanted. So I bought that. And then we've added on to it since then. We started with 34 acres, we're up to 200 acres. So basically what I wanted to create and what I did create was a redneck paradise. He calls it his redneck paradise, but it's more like a petting zoo or a circus. You just never know what's gonna happen out there. One day you may go hunting, next day he may take you to his pool. Maybe even go-karting. There's just no telling what's gonna happen. It's all over the place. So being out in the country, you can do about whatever you want. And so if it calls for a good time, if someone's like, hey, you wanna come? It sounds like, I'm in, every single time. So the sacrifice about having a good time and being the guy that wants to have a good time and into that, uh, is that sometimes you get burnt. Ow, God! At least we know what kind of horsepower we're running with. 1101, dude. Right there. 1101 horsepower. 
despite all of his shortcomings, he's actually an incredible turkey hunter. Do you have a crow call? So I've always loved deer hunting, but the biggest passion of mine besides singing country music is calling them long beards in. Shoot him. Did you? Yeah. Hell yeah. I did. <laughs> did I? What do you think I jumped up like it? That may be the longest shot I've ever made on a bird. Long shot. He dropped right where I shot him. Shot him from here. There was a decoy. Did you hear me yell shoot? No. Surveillance, folks. No, girl. So, in all honesty, uh, if I have to be serious for a little bit, um, the reason I joined Buck Commander and the reason I love being a part of this uh, family is because it's a uh, it's a family and that's why we do it it ain't to shoot the biggest deer it's not to kill the uh, biggest turkey it's about to be around one another and have fun while we're doing it it's it's all awesome. i get to work with all my best friends and uh tombo the question is who's gonna answer So even before I even became a part of Buck Commander, they really, you know, just truly embraced me as their own, um, which pretty much means just ignoring all my phone calls. I think the addition of TFAR is gonna check a lot of boxes. The guy loves to hunt, he gets out there a lot, and even if he doesn't kill very much, he's always gonna lighten the mood around camp. I pretty much know where I stand. Last one. Look, what, basically what I'm trying to say is we're super excited to have Tyler Farr as one of our new owners. Ish. No, but in all seriousness, uh, we're so glad Tyler has joined up with us. Uh, he is one of the funniest guys that I know and uh, just a great guy. And so uh, it'll be good to have him always in camp and uh, he keeps us wildly entertained and uh, I'm sure he'll do the same for you. So I'm very honored. I am so, uh, I mean, Honestly, I would, uh, this is better than the number one record. This is better than uh, anything I could ever ask for because all I want to do is be in the outdoor industry and Buck Commander has allowed me to do that. And I'm just so freaking appreciative to be a part of Buck Commander. Betty, what are you doing?